Hello you trekking humans, we're in Perth at Graham's Last Lap and this is the Cycling Maven video channel. Yoo! <laughs> So what are we doing, mate? We're doing um, Old Puppers. It's about a 60k ride around the river. Yeah. Um, it's a famous ride, isn't famous, it, Old Puppers? Yeah. yeah. It's good. It's nice and controlled. Isn't o it? Old Puppers is a cafe. Yeah. All the riders used to start there, and they do a lap of the lap of the river, and uh, now it's the Old Puppers ride. So we're going to meet up with those boys. It is perfect weather out here. How good is it? Absolutely perfect. Yeah, like you don't, you just don't get better weather. It's a cry. I'm moving back to Perth. That's it. So we're just swinging around the corner to pick up my mate Joel. You've probably seen uh, Joel in previous Perth vlogs. He's a funny bugger. He is. Anyway, you'll see. Get that camera off here. You old. You old, my old. Give me a hug. Sure, us old mate have the camera. Give me a hug, mate. Good to see you. Oh, let's get this chicken thief on the way. <laughs> Flick the ride, let's just go get coffee. Mate, I'm all up with that. I just want to see the light. Even if it makes me blind, I just want to see the light. Breathe in, leave it all behind. I just want to see the Alright, I'm riding next to Steve Hall, who is a potential winner tonight. What do you reckon, Steve? Have you got it? I don't know, it's going to be pretty hard to beat Brownie. It's his favourite course. I don't think he's ever been beaten on it, but, yeah. um, you know, it's his last race, but I'm not going to give it to him easy. We'll see how we go. Uh, it's one of those courses, there's a lot of guys in the race, anything can happen, but um, I guess we'll have to find out later today. It's a hard course, eh? Yeah, it's pretty tough. You've got a... Uh, it's kind of like a corkscrew and it's only about 800 meters, but yeah. Granny's one of the only guys that can actually pedal through it, so... Uh... Yeah, right. So just to give you an indication of how strong Stevie is, that's him there in front of me uh, on the right-hand side there, and that's Glenn Harris in the sort of greeny colored Bianchi kit. You can see we've gone from 53 k's an hour up to nearly, well, up to 60 kilometers an hour, which is about 38 miles per hour. So we're flying down the outside here, and this is just halfway through the group ride. And there's a little cheeky sprint uh, into the final little section here along Shelley. So Stevie actually is racing later tonight in uh, the Graham Brown race, but he's rocked up and done the old puppers ride in the morning. Just goes to show what these big boys do to get fit. You guys still here? Yeah. It is good to be back in this city. What a cracking city this is. Perfect weather. There's the bell tower. I remember when they constructed that thing, they got so much hate, but uh, now it's just part of the furniture. Hey, get out, Harry. Get on my wheel, mate, you'll get second for sure. <laughs> Yeah, so that's Glenn Harris there. He's a good mate of mine in the green uh, kit in front of me. And uh, he's probably the most talented bike rider to never go professional, I'd say. Um, such a fast sprinter. And, you know, even in his mid to late 30s now, he's still an absolute hitter and, and does no training. He's just a completely and utterly natural athlete. But uh, this is the finish of the ride. We're coming down uh, along the beach and we've probably got maybe a kilometre, two kilometres to go to the finish. Glenn, uh, you know, like it's a bit of a fun sprint on this group ride. It's always a fun sprint towards the end there in Fremantle. So you can see as, you know, maybe 20 of us coming into the finish and Glenn fancying himself as a bit of a sprinter. Wanted to uh, see if he could take Stevie Hall and Stevie Hall's there in front of Glenn. So you've got... The three of us lined up, and I just wanted to capture it on GoPro. I 
was going to try and hold their wheel for as long as I could, just so I could see who won it on the GoPro. But uh, as you know, I haven't been doing much training, neither has Glenn in front of me. He's literally been doing very little training, but it just goes to show that you can still sprint on flat roads if it's not hard coming into the finish. As you can see here, one of the boys has jumped down the right hand side. We're doing 50 kilometers an hour. It's a bit of a headwind. So uh, hence why the speed isn't up. And this is a little bit of a rise, but you can see here, this is what sprinters do. They move down the right hand side coming into the finish. There's a little right hand turn up here and you can see Steve Hall has put the power down because he wants to be, fi he wants to be first through this final bend here. And 50 kilometers an hour into this bend, that's not slow and you can see we've had to keep pedaling just to maintain the pace steve is an absolute hitter he is i remember this bit i don't have my heart rate monitor on but i was absolutely hurting thinking about letting go of the wheel here but i hung on for as long as i could and glenn is there so we're doing nearly 60 kilometers an hour there's a 50 to 100 meter gap now but to the riders behind. i'd say 50 meters and you can see glenn jumps here headwind Steve is still on the front. He's still on the front. I'm thinking about coming around Glenn and then I hit the wind and I went, nah. But uh, Stevie Hall just got it. There's the finish line just there. And he just got in by a bike length. So it just goes to show how classy this guy is. All right, so he's racing tonight. He let it out from about like a kilometre to go and he won the sprint. Unbelievable, that's how good you are. That was so hard. How was that, Glenn? Good he is. So the people you meet when you're out riding, I'm just chatting to Paul. By the way, good good colour kit. But he's a, he's a Melbourne boy. Up here, King Lake. King Lake, so yeah. The dreaded King Lake. But he's living over here now. How's the weather? How are you liking it? Uh, it's been a pretty crappy winter, not as bad as yours. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's the best. <laughs> Best city in Australia for riding over here. You reckon? Probably. Yeah. Just beautiful weather, hey. Beautiful weather for eight months of the year. Yeah. Can't go wrong. So we're, we're, so we're sitting here for our second coffee at our second cafe. It's fourth. Well, it must be my fourth, yeah. But here with um, Ash. Ash and uh, Jolly, they got dropped like 30 times. <laughs> <laughs> like 20 different shortcuts. No, that was, but, um, we work 40 hours a week, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we, uh, we're talking about our sprint, Glenn, Glenn myself and uh, Stevie coming into the final and I was just saying, we were doing 60K an hour. It, it might have been 48, maybe 38. 65 lead out. Yeah, 65 lead out. But what, what, was the, what was the point of me bringing this camera out just then? Yeah, you're in the box. Hey? I'm in the box now. Just this is the fourth long black I've got and I'm gonna be chewing my own, chewing everyone's ear off. Ride done, breakfast done, and now Ash and I are gonna go down the beach. When you're in Perth, what do you do? You go to the beach. Because the beach in Perth is off the chain. It's so good. It's probably Perth has probably some of the best beaches in the world. And you'll see that when we get down there. This is the Volkswagen Golf R. Apparently these cars are so fast and you've souped it up, haven't you? Yeah, taken it down the drags and she's done a 12-2, which is quicker than every Ferrari other than the La Ferrari. You're kidding? Yeah. 12.2 for 12 a quarter two. mile. Quarter mile. Whoa. Yeah. Don't kill me. Please no. keep me alive. No, no, no. It's okay. <sighs> I better put my seatbelt on. So it goes zero to 100 kilometers an hour in how long? Four seconds. Whoa! Wait, how beautiful is this view? Uh, I hope I survive this. I love you guys. I love you guys. It's been good. Life's been good. Hold it. Oh shit! No way! <laughs> we got to 100 kilometers an hour then, yeah? Yeah. Oh my god! It's pretty, pretty fun.
So all right, legends, so I am, uh, we had a great day down the beach, but I'm here with my friend Natalie. We used to go riding together but when, we were, when I was living in Perth all the time. Yeah, we and used to live together, remember? We actually used yeah, to live together for like a year, a year? Yeah, a When year I was single. Or... Yep. <laughs> so uh, Natalie and Russell and so yeah, here we are. We're at the race. So we're at Graham Brown's last race, man. What a year, it's, what, a, what a career it's been for him, hey? Oh, it's great. I mean, you don't realize what he's achieved and yeah. you know, like it's just amazing. 15 years, is it? 15 years, he's an absolute weapon. He's won two gold medals in yeah. Athens. This is a friend of mine, Gary Suckling, absolute legend. Takes as, When I was first started riding, <laughs> Gary was uh, helping me out with my riding and stuff. And then he used to sprint me, even at what, well, you were in your 40s, and he was still kicking our ass. So, uh, mate, how's the? You still racing? I'm doing a little bit with the with the veterans, and I would not be able to beat you now, mate. I'm sorry. Um, those days are well gone. And by the way, you were very fast, and I had to use every bit of skill I had to manage you. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to wrap this one up? Oh, look. All right, yeah, yeah. a good favourite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think everyone's like, oh, Victorian. Oh, really? <laughs> Everyone's shaking. <laughs> yeah. What's the What's the course like? I don't know. I've never raced it. Okay. All right. Good know. luck. Thanks, Kill mate. Kill it. Cheers. <laughs> Jason. Yeah, I know. Nice to meet you. I think it was the Bay Crits was the last yeah, time I saw probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I was yeah, great. <laughs> uh, you're going to make us proud with those GoPros? Uh, I hope so, but there's a lot of guys that uh, want to win for themselves. But I mean, I give it a crack. It's a, it's a great field, probably one of the best we've ever had in WA. So uh, it's going to be fun. <laughs> this is it, mate. This is it. Bloody hell. Goosebumps, mate. Goosebumps. Have you got goosebumps? Yeah. It's pretty exciting. Isn't yeah, it, it is. It's very exciting. I just got to make sure I win the bloody thing now. No, you'll Shit. be right. Mate, I'm confident. Oh, I'm confident. Good I'm, luck. I'm nervously confident. <laughs> All right, let's take a quick look at the course. So we're on board here with Graham Brown. He's got one of the Cyclic Fly 12 cameras on the front and rear of his bike. So this is the Cyclic footage. The guys uh, at Cyclic were sponsoring this event. So massive kudos to them for supporting these races. You can see they come through a little bit of a chicane sort of hill uh, through the top of the course and they spin around, very tight course down the other side of the hill there into the start finish line from that final corner it's a very very short sprint so you'd have to be first or second wheel to come through that final corner if you even wanted to be have a chance of winning the race so top three i'd say back with the cyclic camera here um pretty good footage as it turns out uh but uh brownie here coming past down the outside of Rowan Dennis there. What he's doing here is he's shutting down Michael Freeberg, who's jumped off the front. He's in the full black kit. You can see he's flying through here, up onto the grass. That's pretty stock standard for the pros, man. They just, you know, little obstacles like that are nothing. They just pop over. You can see Michael off the front there. He's just coming through that bend there. And Brownie's gone, nah, it's too late in the race, bro. I'm shutting this down right now. So down the hill, Michael knows that it, the uh, his attack is being shut down. And if we swap over to my GoPros now, this is the GoPro footage from Stevie Hall's bike. So Stevie's probably fourth wheel here. There's only five riders less left. 40 started, five riders left. That just goes to show how hard this race has been and how tight that course is. So yeah, this is the back of the course coming into the Ferris wheel. And uh, you can see there's some absolute classes. Michael Storer there is under 23, absolute little hitter. Uh, apparently Matt, was, Matt Pointer was telling me he was racing in Italy recently. But um, some absolute quality in this final group of five. You could imagine that uh, everyone that entered this race is a quality bike rider. And to only have five riders left 
It just goes to show how hard the course is and how hard the race is. So look at this crowd as we come into the last lap. This is the Bell Lap. That is a massive crowd. That's the sort of crowd you'd expect at the Bakerets. Just a huge crowd, and particularly for Perth, it's so good to see. You can see here, less than a lap to go, and they're sort of looking at each other, waiting for someone to attack. Brownie on the front knows that he has to be through that final turn first, and you can see Michael Storer attacks there down the left-hand side, but Brownie goes, nah, I'm shutting this down immediately. And here he is. This is why he's such a smart bike rider. He knows to be on the front. You can see Stevie Hall on his wheel, but he just cannot hold that wheel. Brownie pulls away, absolute class act, looks over his shoulder there and he knows that he's got this one now. Final turn, Stevie comes through, little pole there and you can see there's a crash here, one of the boys goes down, just got a little bit too fast, lost the rear wheel. But Graham Brown wins the race, Steve Hall on his wheel and uh, two hands in the air and what a great way to finish your career, having a win. This was definitely not fixed they were racing and it's so good to see him uh, him win that last row what a great way to finish how was it man Mate, that was hard it only went for about 42 minutes but uh that was some serious stuff i think we started with 40 some ended with maybe five i don't know yeah bit of a crash at the end but i think everyone looks all right so uh yeah, that was, that was pretty loose. That was, that was, that I can't hard. believe you started with 40 and there's five riders at the end. Yeah, it's a pretty tough course. It was kind of like elimination there for a while. It kind of started at the back and had to jump a few guys, but in the end, there was just you know some real top quality bike riders there at the end. Um, it was pretty fitting for a uh, you know Brownie's last race. So. And there was a crash in the last corner. Yeah, I think Young Timmy saw it, came down, but he was alright. Uh, world champion Sam Wilson managed to get around him, so just a bit of skin. I don't think anyone would be too upset about that, you know. Yeah. Good to see you, mate. As always. Yeah. <laughs> How was the race? Yeah, fantastic. Good to see there's so much talent here. We forget how much talent we got in this country and let alone in the state. And how's the crowd? How is the crowd? Yeah, that's about the best crowd I've seen for a long time. Do the Olympics? 64. 64. Yeah, we've got fourth. We get done. The Dutch beat us for the bronze. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Good on you, mate. Still hurts now. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you, Hank. Okay, Good to see you. going to be a cracking race. Good word. Good word. I know that you like the word cracking, Mark. Um, it's your favourite word. It is my favourite. Use it in every vlog. Ladies and gentlemen, if you get a chance, get onto the Cycling Maven page on YouTube. Have a look at Mark's work. It's always entertaining. He's always got something to say. And if you get bored, his, his partner's pretty good to look at as well. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Well, I did too much.